You might be hearing your customers, but are you actually listening to them? I'm Judy Selmans and welcome to my channel where I give small businesses a bit of tough love in bite-sized chunks. So hit subscribe for practical advice to help your business thrive. When we have a conversation with a team member or customer, something else is often going on in our minds at the same time. We're doing it subconsciously, but it's damaging our relationships. How many times have you heard someone say something that triggers a memory of your own? Now you either interrupt them to share your story or in your mind you've stopped listening and it starts wandering. The other time I noticed it happens is when you're interviewing someone or trying to get more information from them. So you ask your question and you might hear the first part of the response, but as soon as your mind registers they're talking, you're trying to think of the next question you know, to keep the conversation going. And you can't really listen to them when you're distracted. There's another difference between hearing and listening, which comes down to how interested you are in their opinion. Like, I mean, really interested. How many of us go into a conversation, even subconsciously, to push our own opinion over anyone else's? That's when all we're doing is looking for reinforcement you know, not being at all open to having our mind changed. I was talking to a guy who had a new business idea. The way he shared it excited me. I could see me using his services. So I started telling him how I would use it. But he interrupted me and said, oh, no, we wouldn't allow that. He wasn't interested in listening to how I, a potential customer, felt about his concept. Had he really listened, he would have had lots of other questions to find out why I had those ideas. And that would have shaped his product and his marketing message. We miss so much information. So next time you're in a conversation, take note of what you're thinking about. Are you actually taking in the words and the emotion behind those words? Or maybe you're distracted by your own opinion. When you listen with an active ear, your next question will dig even deeper and you'll uncover things you didn't know. And that's powerful. That's a relationship. I hope you listened to that bit of tough love. So hit subscribe so you don't miss my next installment.